how will the following calculation be reported to the proper number of significant digits? Let's look at this uh, operation here. So we have uh, two steps calculation. The first one is a division, and the second one is an addition. So let's work on the first one. 1.3 times 10 to the 6 divided by 2.63 times 10 to the 5th. That should give us 6 Three, eight. There are many, many, digit, many more digits to come, but if we look at the division step, two sig figs here and three sig figs here. For division and multiplication, the final answer should have the same number of significant digits as the ones with the fewest number of significant digits. So here, two and three. So therefore, the final answer for this step should have two sig figs. But since the uh, answer for the division calculation is not really the final answer for this problem, so therefore, the result of this division is only intermediate answer. For intermediate answer, we want to keep one more digit. So I uh, underline the last digit, supposed to be two digits, all right, six, two six fix. So that's why the last one should be four, but I keep one more because it's intermediate answer. So then I just simply drop the other digits. So 6.46. Then I will carry out the second step, the second calculation, which is an addition. Okay, we have 6.46 plus 7.33. Be careful though, even though I wrote 6.46, really that should be just two sig figs. If it's two sig figs, should for this one, it is really just one decimal place. And the rule for addition and subtraction is the final answer or the answer of the calculation should have the same number of decimal places as the one that has the fewest number of decimal places. All right. In other words, keep the fewest decimal places as the final answer. In this case, it should be just one decimal place. Okay, so let's finish this. That should be 13.79. Again, as we just discussed, it really should be just one digit, one decimal place, not one digit, I'm sorry. So one decimal place. And then we just do the round up 13.8. So therefore the correct answer should be E in this question.